Oh, go! Right to question four. Um, <laughs> matrix M is proved by this, proved by induction. That, 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 that's true. So remember, proved by induction, we need to go through all the steps. If n equals one... <laughs> um, <laughs> M is 2, 2, 0, 1. And uh, M to the 1 would be 2 to the 1. 2 to the 1 plus 1 is often 2, 0, 1. Which is 2, that's 4, take away 2. Which is 2? 2, 0, 1. <laughs> it matches. Excellent success. Right, now what we do is we state our assumption. We're going to assume for n equals k. So m k is 2 to the k, 2 to the k plus 1 minus 2, 0, 1. Ta-da! Now we're going to attempt to prove this for n equals k plus 1. And then to safety net. So prove for n equals k plus 1. If this works out, We'd get the same thing, but that would say k plus 1, and that would say k plus 1 plus 1, or k plus 2. So that's what we're aiming for. Let's go for it. Well, um, m to the k plus 1 simply means m to the k times m to the 1. Because when you multiply things together, you add the powers. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply these two matrices together. M to the k from our assumption is this. M to the power of 1 from the initial part of the question looks like that. We multiply it together. It's just 2 by 2 matrices. This is 2 to the k times 2. Um, plus 2 to the k plus 1 minus 2 times 0. So that's, that's, that's it is. Here we've got 2 to the k times, what are we doing now? This one to this one. So 2 to the k times 2 plus 2 to the k plus 1 minus 2 times 1. On the bottom line, we've got bottom row times the first column, so 0 times 2 plus 1 times 0, 0, and 0 times 2, plus 1 times 1, gives us 1 there. So, are you laughing at the signal? 2 times 2 to the k, that would be 2 to the k plus 1, wouldn't it? Yes! That's what we wanted. And um, here, We've got, oh, what have we got? Well, we've got 2 to the k plus 1, because that's 2 to the k times 2. We've got another 2 to the k plus 1, and we're taking away a 2 from all of that. 0, 1. Now, it's a bit irritating to write it all out, because all we're really working on now is this last expression here. And look what we've got. We've got 2 to the k plus 1 added to itself. In other words, we have it <coughs> twice. Take away a 2 at the end of it. And that is exactly what we're looking for. That is our 2 to the k plus 1, 2 to the k plus 2, or 2 to the k plus 1 plus 1. Take away 2, because we've added the powers. 1 plus k plus 1, 0, 1. That's what we wanted. We haven't got all the marks. Because of course we have to make our statement at the end of it, which I can't remember what it says. Yes. Hence. Um, if it's true for yeah. <laughs> no. shown, shown true for any plus <laughs> one. <laughs> if it's true for n equals k. Yeah. Then also this shows it is also true. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it must be true. For all integer yeah. and greater than or equal to one. And there we go. Have we, have we, have we got time to ask one question? 58. Five minutes. That is wrong. Well, that's math. Whoa!